a little bit of Andor updates um, we can give you. There's some new Andor footage. Uh, but most importantly, uh, it was revealed and announced that uh, Andor season two will premiere on April 22nd, 2025. Not the May 4th day that uh, we'd kind of assumed or thought might be the case. So uh, who knows what they'll have up their sleeve by May the 4th. It could also be... Um, you know, maybe they'll give us uh, two episodes of Andor or something at that, uh, you know, that week. But because they'll be if it starts on the 22nd, 29th, they'll, they'll be, uh, you know, the, the third episode will be dropping the week of May the 4th. So who well, May 4th lands on a Sunday this year. Uh, it appears new releases on Disney Plus have found their way to Tuesday evening. So, yeah, April 22nd, a Tuesday. And uh, the show will probably drop at around uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Is that typically when the shows have been dropping? Nine. Around I've been getting, yeah, it was oh, nine. nine. Like when they started this with, was that Ahsoka they started it with? With this Tuesday night thing? Um, yeah, 9 p.m. Eastern for me. Okay. So we'll be rolling with the after shows the following day on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. However, during the holiday weeks of Christmas and New Year's, we'll probably be dropping them on Thursdays. And they, they will be live on oh, yeah. YouTube. So you'll be able to call us. and Tyler Page will be there screening calls. <laughs> it'll be a hoot. Yeah. No, it's going to be it's going to be great. And then we'll roll right into uh, uh, Andor Season 2. We got a little bit of footage here. The first that we're going to play for you, this was part of the uh, sort of a 2025 sizzle reel that uh, Disney Plus put out. This is, you know, saying, oh, this is all the the new stuff that's uh, coming in the new year. And uh, we've isolated just the Andor stuff here. So let's take a look. Is there no one who can help us? We need a pilot. Whoa. You're thinking like a thief. I'm thinking like a soldier. Think like a leader. Oh. So I like that line. That's Luthen uh, doling out some uh, some cold hard truth, some uh, lessons to his his protege, which I think is really what we're going to find out happens to to Cassian in this uh, second season. Is that I think he ends up. My guess is Jim. He ends up replacing Luthen as uh, oh yeah the guy. You know. And yeah, so it's going to yeah. be fun to see Luthen sort of bestow a lot of that wisdom. And, you know, they got two great actors to do this. It, I, 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 can't, I can't get enough of Luthen's character, both versions, you know, the flamboyant uh, art, sh- art shop owner or antique dealer and then the real Luthen. And so I, I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, also nice to see uh, Bix. We're going to be seeing a lot more of Bix uh, in this season. Um, what else did we see here? Not a lot of surprise. New look for Cassian, the shorter hair. And looks the, uh, like he's on uh, Yavin right there. Yes. He's with the rebel base on Yavin. And uh, the, the entire clip begins with what appears to be a protest of some sort. I think people are marching. Mm. Um, they have signs and uh, stormtroopers emerge on the scene. And I think they just start to indiscriminately fire at the gathering Oof. and uh everything just blows up into uh warfare right there in this city plaza where it's all taking place because you see they cut to this this plaza area a couple of more times throughout these uh, this footage where you see cassian firing back at the stormtroopers and all sort of mayhem also you see cassian apparently stealing a tie interceptor which really surprises me because I thought TIE Interceptors didn't emerge until uh, the area of time uh, between Empire and Jedi because we never see them. We don't see them uh, on the Death Star Mm-mm. in the original trench run, the Battle of Yavin. They're, they're non-existent. We don't see them anywhere in Empire Strikes Back, but they appear in uh, Return of the Jedi during the uh, battle for Death Star of ba- God, the Battle of Death Star Two, <laughs> and so I thought that was just one of those advancements made by the Imperial War Machine as the Civil War was dragging on with the Rebellion. But here, this is Andor. 
All of this takes place prior to the original trilogy. So Cassian apparently is stealing a tie interceptor. And if you look closely on it, it appears along the, uh, the solar panels, the, so the fins there. It, it appears there's some sort of uh, bombs uh, there or something there, maybe this is being used to deploy some explosives or bombs because you can see those little, they look like little round balls on the, Where we? on the uh, TIE fighter. And maybe this is a prototype. That's what I was thinking. I intercept top secret. And it's just a yeah. little bit of an Easter egg uh, for the fans. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. But that definitely looks like uh, Cassian in there. And then you see him, you know, in the, in the flight suit, I think a few clicks back. Yeah. There he yeah. is. Yeah. There he is. He's he's not in a tie, a, a, a tie pilot. No, it's more like a, an X wing uh, pilot. The orange yeah, jumpsuit, yeah. flight suit, yeah. jumpsuit. Yeah. Uh, what, and he gets kind of a little smile. It gets a little smile there at the end, like he realizes he's in something pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, I think yeah, because he just, blasts. I, I think he's blasted his way out, and he realizes the power of this uh, particular ship. Maybe. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They're on board Luthen's ship here. That's uh, definitely Luthen's ship. Yeah. And uh, that's when he's having the conversation with Luthen about uh, being a leader. Now, here he's back in that city plaza. Yeah, yes. And he's, yeah. he's opening fire on, uh, apparently, a, a group of stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I believe. Happens. Yeah, I think you're they right. Try I to, think this is a protest that gets out of hand. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. And so the empire, on. the empire again showing exactly how oppressive and deadly they are, right? To their own citizens, you know, the, thus prompting more rebellion. And Luthen knows they need a good leader, and he figures Cassian Andor is the guy. So Cassian uh, walks with pride and purpose through the Yavin base, ready to lead. You know, Jim, when the this the series was was on the first time, I, I remember us talking about uh, Cassian's character and and does he really pull us in? Does he really become a character that we 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 care deeply about? Um, Diego Luna is a, obviously a great actor and and brings a lot of of nuance and I think depth to the character. It really wasn't until my second viewing uh, that we watched just this last summer that I really went, "Wow! I like this is this character is clicking up on my on my list of top favorite characters in Star Wars." I really, really wow. like him a lot. Advancing toward favorite status. Well, I not, sure liked not, him in not, Rogue not One. Not the and favorite, not the favorite, but but I just, I was sort of ambivalent about him. Even watching the series uh, the first time, I was just more interested in some of the things that were happening around him that I really wasn't focused on him, but I really focused on him more on the second viewing. Um, and and he, so he started becoming more important. So like him a lot. Remember in season one when he was in that, uh, I think it was a hotel room, and he had a green girl with him? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he was going out to get the greenies, and uh, she wanted the, I forget what she said, but it was a really odd thing she asked for. And uh, he went and then got arrested. Right, and he you had think money and the, and the, the diary, right? Yeah, that's right. That's he had it the stashed, manifesto. I think, like over the shower. Yeah, yeah. And so I wonder a if if that briefcase is still there, and b if the girl is still there. Like, <laughs> where have you been, man? <laughs> Four <Yeah>. years later. <laughs> how long do you think uh, he was? Did they ever really say how long he was on the prison planet? Oh my God! Well, we had figured it out. I think oh, did we, we had done the math at some point. <laughs> we'll have to go back but, and watch an after show. So, but yeah. uh, at any rate, it looks great. It looks great. Now we do have one other little bit of footage that we're going to scrub through. Uh, this was footage that was shown at D twenty three in uh, in Brazil. 
The audio is not great, so we're not going to waste your time with that. But there, are, there are some things that I think are important um, to uh, to point out here. So I'm just going to go ahead and mute this, so we're not bothered. This is one of those, you know, cell phone cams here, um, and it's a little sizzle package that they played there. It's got interviews with guys like Tony Gilroy and um, actors from the show. But there's a few uh, reveals here. Oh, we see Cassian walking down a hallway with purpose. Yes. And uh, yeah, a little clip of Tony Gilroy. Uh, here we are on Coruscant, clearly in an area just outside of the Senate Rotunda. And uh, Mon Mothma is yeah. uh, walking around. She's probably just out for a breath of fresh air after having to deal with all of the uh, the senators and their pods and everything. <laughs> Here's Luthen with uh, what's his uh, assistant's name? Is it May? Yeah, his not, assistant. Not what's May. her name? <laughs> I, I said May. I don't think it's May. May. I'm thinking acolyte now. But it's a it's a one syllable name. I feel like it's a. Uh, uh, anyway, so there here here they are. They're walking. Uh, this is well, there's some green screen back there. Mm -hmm. It looks like more Coruscant. Yes, which we, where we know Luthen is based. And uh, it looks like uh, there's Deidre Mira, mm -hmm. and she's probably, I think she's in one of those Imperial briefing rooms that yes. we saw her in, in season one. Um, possibly Coruscant, uh, yeah. exterior shots, very industrial looking area. Mon Mothma. Ooh. Gripping the, uh, uh, the lectern as she's... <laughs> She's Angsty. white knuckling the lectern, <laughs> you know, again dealing with those alien senators in the pods, in the Senate rotunda, and then Genevieve O'Reilly uh, discusses her character a little bit in this video footage. Here we're seeing outside the Senate rotunda on Coruscant, and there's Cassian. He's he's jumping up and down, uh, Getting... psyching himself up for the <laughs> shot. Uh, Diego Luna, we're getting a glimpse into his process. Also, you see on the clapboard, the uh, second season of Andor was giving the code name Pilgrim 2. So <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, and then there's Diego. He's getting all psyched up to do his shot. And uh, more shots of Coruscant. Uh, more shots. Uh, yeah, that's that area just right outside of Coruscant. Obviously... Uh, an actual practical location. Yeah. Probably somewhere in London. We'll it's a the very, minivans out there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So you, you get a feeling for the uh, size and scale of this particular structure. It looks like if you took a human spine <laughs> and placed <laughs> it on a, uh, uh, like a rotisserie rack. Uh, yeah, that's, in the, yeah. Uh, that's good. <laughs> It's very vivid. I, I applaud because uh, Jimmy Mack knows that most of you are just going to be listening to this. So his uh, you could get a job as uh, one of the audio description uh, folks, to, uh, Mac. I think. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'd be very descriptive. <laughs> oh, and here's there that saw the tie interceptor, uh, but uh, right there on the set. So they built that damn thing. That is a full size That's tie right. interceptor. Yeah, there it is in the hangar, presumably where Cassian will. Uh, hijack it steal it and uh this is behind the scenes footage where you see them prepping the set for shooting tie interceptor like an advanced tie interceptor yeah so advanced that it doesn't exist yet according to star wars uh, timeline here's cassian uh, drawing his blaster this is probably more of that uh that uh, riots or uh protest scene yeah the protest in the plaza that goes horribly wrong Bix Atris. Uh, I don't even know how to say her name. Adria, Adria, Adria Arona. Uh, Looks like Arona. Arona. Beautiful, beautiful Arona. actress. Uh, oh, there we go. There's uh, Luthen and his uh, antique dealer guys with the wig. Yeah. So we will get Luthen in wig once again <laughs> in season two. And there's his accomplice, his assistant who's a rebel herself, Cassie yes. and Andor. Oh, it looks like there's uh, some of the fallout from the big uh, 
protest in the plaza as we see a lot of stormtrooper bodies laying around there's the protest itself yes as you can see stormtroopers arrive not unlike the uh final episode of andor season one where they were protesting in the plaza oh and then this explosion is, uh, stormtroopers yep. big explosion there that looks great and uh, more shots of cassian oh there's the uh e-wing hmm. from uh, that we see in rogue one we see an e-wing flying by which was the main ship for the rebels you know, rogue when i one. first saw this i thought this was saw but now oh it is saw okay that's saw guerrera saw, saw guerrera and two tubes there it is there they two are, tubes. Yeah. saw with hair yes and uh you know i don't think he's uh got any of the cybernetics yet or anything so i'm really hoping we see the origin of saw as a cyborg 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 mm. saw wasn't it wasn't it rumored or thought that he had a a, con a a battle with darth vader at one point that's right yeah that was supposed to be the backstory for saw guerrera and so maybe we'll see that maybe darth vader will make Boy, an appearance. what a surprise that would be i mean he was in rogue one so you know tony gilroy and company are not immune to that so you never know boy that would be something wouldn't that be a surprise yeah. oh. fans would be buzzing like crazy over <laughs> that all right so uh Oops. this i think that's mon's uh ride there going through coruscant some sort of a, a one tube this is one tube they had two tubes and it's like the, some sort of a some tube sort or of a tunnel cave. Tunnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Manhole something. Deidre Mira looking concerned. Yes. I've oh, oh there's Cyril. Oh, I was Cyril. Wondering, I was gonna say I've yet to see Cyril. And now check out his so out his outfit. It looks like a like a trench coat, like overcoat. This is um something we really haven't seen in, in Star Wars. You get you got the high collar, but almost something that looks like maybe a necktie that's hanging yeah. down in front of him. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Hey, is it definitely more of a shaggy do. Uh, mm -hmm. Not quite a military, you know, close cut that he was wearing before. It's Tie Fighter flying overhead. Yeah, more of this think, protest. Uh, yeah, this this will be a big event mm. in Andor season two. This uh, this public protest that goes wrong becomes Tiananmen Square. Hmm. Yeah, good. Yeah, good analogy. Oh, there it is, Ben Mendelsohn, Orson Krennic. Yes, we had heard um, that he would be in season two. Now this is all the confirmation confirmation we need. Right now we have uh, we have heard uh, rumor that he's used sparingly in season two. That Krennic is oh, not sure. uh, yeah. a main character. He sort of a I don't think cameo he certainly needed, so it's not gratuitous, but uh, I don't think it season two is not going to be the adventures of uh, Orson Krennic by any means. Could be interesting, could lead us to uh, Jen Urso or uh, Galen Urso as well. Mm -hmm. Surprise, I feel like Galen has got to be in this, but um, yeah, no confirmation yet. Uh, there's the uh, the rebel base there on Yavin, those familiar uh, screens and terminals. So maybe we might be dealing with uh, the rebels settling in. Mm. in Yavin. Move in, they day. Leave, Yeah, they leave Dantooine and appear on Yavin. And uh, Dantooine was always said to be a planet of tall grass fields. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe we see an environment that, is of tall grass fields in in this trailer somewhere oh all right uh, however brief they might be let's keep our eyes open to yep that's see if definitely yavin right there that's sorry the, the uh whoever the brave soul was that was uh, the bothan spy that took this video uh, there at d23 in brazil shifting the uh the camera around but we still are able to yeah. see uh, there's two tubes and uh, more Yavin shots. Yep. That's uh, most likely exterior Yavin. Oh, and a brief mm -hmm. shot of K2SO's shoulder right there. So, uh, but we do see an X Wing in the hangar. Yep. Cool. Yep. That's where you park them. <laughs> K2SO's head. 
And there you see Alan Tudyk wearing all of the CGI gear that he needs to wear, the reflectors, the dots on his face, the, the weird mo -cap. headband. <laughs> yeah, mocap suit, that's right. Yeah. Oh, and some and uh, talking Alan. head footage of Alan. Some uh, laughter here, some lighter moments uh, between Alan in his uh, mocap gear and uh, Diego Luna in the cockpit. Looks like Alan. Every time you see uh, anybody acting out with Alan, there everyone's laughing. So, oh yeah, a lot of a lot of laughs with him. <laughs> we just chuckle all day with him. Definitely Coruscant here. Yes, and there you see Cassian. He's wearing the gear similar to what he's wearing in the Tie Fighter when he steals it, and he's talking to uh, a woman uh, wearing a similar looking outfit, and uh, she's got the severe head bun. And uh, a very Deidre Mira esque, but yeah, she's a brunette, is, not is a blonde. It possible, is it possible this is uh, Luthen's counterpart there? His, oh, could uh, be, assistant? yes, could be. Right, could be. Here we see, oh, that's room. a rebel, rebel briefing room, uh, possibly from the Mon Calmari ship. Oh, wait, that's a rebel that briefing room? I thought it was Imperial. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it is Imperial. You know why I said it was uh, the Rebel briefing room from the Mon Cal ship? Is yeah, because right. The way the bleachers are sort of set up. Yep. But it, it appears they're more like desks that these guys are sitting behind. They're not like sitting on bleacher benches like they right. were in Re Return of the Jedi. Not quite sure what this is. Um, no, maybe no. a new a new character here that we're being introduced to. Um, and then this looks like someone is uh, getting on a speeder here. Oh, yep, they got like the camera car set up. Here and there's there's speeder. your your tall grass fields. This ah, could be Dantooine. Dantooine. Yes. Yep. There you go. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be cool to finally see that. Some more imperials this looks like back Luthien. on the, the 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 cassian's planet his home planet ferrix was ferrix yeah yeah, yeah. luthan showing up uh someone's apartment yeah a lot of very quick a lot of, a lot of people walking in hallways i don't recognize these two characters jim do you jeez no so they might they be new. Like her, uh, it's like the Sculler and Scully and Mulder. Scully and Mulder. Scully and Mulder. And, and Scully the male and has his, his fingers up to his ear like maybe he's hearing a, you know, a, 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 got a, a radio in his ear or something like that. Looks yeah, to me. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe a little love scene here. here. Ooh. This guy had AirPods and he was just <laughs> tapping it. Get, get right. to the next track. <laughs> All right. Looks like two tubes there. Yeah, they, they, they were not stationed on Jeddah, which is where uh, Saw Gerrera was stationed, of course, in Rogue One. Right. With the presence of the two tubes guys, you have to assume this is Saw's base. Yes. Wherever they are. It might be Bix there. I can't tell. It's a little dark, shadowy. Right. Ship going through Coruscant, more of uh, Mon Mothma. K I don't know if that's K2 or if that's just another one of the droids, but it might be K2. Right. It looks like there's two or three Imperial droids right there. This could be maybe the liberation of K2. Hmm. Maybe we'll see how he came into possession of the Rebels and Cassian, and how they were able to deprogram him. Mon Mothma looking very concerned. So we get a lot of concerned Mon Mothma. Uh, here's a, a stormtrooper of some sort being thrown by an Imperial droid. So we'd have to assume that's K2SO. Well, that guy was not a stormtrooper. He was oh, wearing okay. a lot of white and black. But could yeah. be like a speeder bike guy. Yeah, it looks like something. a little bit of like a, a yeah, scout trooper of some sort. And there's uh, K2 and uh, Cassian in, their, in the cockpit. More K2. Ready for battle. And I'm not sure who. Ship jumping the hyperspace. Is. 
Don't know who he is. Is that that, that guy, um, Melfi or whatever his name? Is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember uh, Melshi? Melshi, is that him? Yeah, I think I that can't... might be Melshi. <laughs> People are like, love Melshi. He's love like the Melchie. wedge. He's yeah, like the right. wedge of Rogue One, you know? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Going into hyperspace. Yep. Oh, there is the whole uh, Rebel fleet. Wow. That could be when they're departing Dantooine and uh, going to make camp on uh, on Yavin. We shall see. We shall see. Is. Wow. And the Dantooine streaming. thing. The Dantooine thing is obviously canon. Leia told right. Arkin that's where the Rebels were, and the Imperials did find evidence of an abandoned rebel base there. Right. So you'd have to assume that was where they were at before Yavin. We'll find out if, if Andor is going to pick up on those threads. I hope it does. I hope they present a Dantooine like the Dantooine that was presented in the expanded universe books with the tall grass fields. And there were these, these monsters, the, the, like creatures that would sort of, swim through the grass it oh, was wow. just crazy cool craziness oh i do love see when, how they, when they bring these plants to life for the first time and I, I i do like when they they use you know some of the material from the expanded universe and novels and things like that because well you know george lucas did it himself with uh introducing coruscant in the right the prequel film coruscant right. was created for tim zahn's thrawn trilogy Prior to that, it didn't exist. 